Leo. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. All right, Leo. What's going on? With the leap. With the leap of Leo's this week. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what's going on with you guys. feeling for you as I shuffle these cards I'm really feeling a sense of moving forward of almost like a completion a transformation something that has come to a resolution is what I'm hearing so what oh ho, 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 ho. first card out the devil have you been able to see through the illusion the devil presents the devil presents illusions Yes, look at that. Underneath the illusions is your high priestess, your ability. And do you see that dark pillar? That dark pillar, you've been looking at your dark, your shadow side, your darker realms. Your Where's Pluto? Because that's what Pluto deals with as I'm learning, is that darker shadow self. And so I really feel that you've come to a resolution, that you have resolved the illusions that are out there. So the energy that crosses this is that what helps or hinders, and it's definitely a help, and that is the high priestess, so your higher self. <gasps> Self-love, Leo. Beautiful. And in your deck, I always mention this, and I'm going to mention it again. In your deck, I see the shadow self of this self-love, and that is loving your shadow as well. You've got the hands on both pillars, the light and the dark. And your first card out is the illusion, is the devil. So, focus and foundation. That's what the devil is. The devil is cruelty of the mind. The devil, do you see these swords going one way or the other? That's back and forth and back and forth and back, really driving you. You're being cruel mentally to yourself by believing the illusions that the devil presents, that the devil, and he's quiet. Now, I know in media it seems like overwhelming. It seems the negativity and the fear-mongering is really overwhelming. I know that. And this is where your higher self asks questions. Is this truth? Where is the source of this? Who, like when it comes to especially corporate media, who's paying for this, right? Your focus and foundation, I believe, and we'll find out with clarifiers, is that you are really seeing how cruel your mind has been, really, towards yourself, Leo. We need to get back up into this Ace of Cups. Now, yes, I'm talking about this. There's a sense of completion. As I, as I shuffled your cards, I really felt a sense of completion. And here the universe or the world card, the last card of the major arcana. This is a completion because the next card is the fool and taking that leap of faith. So I really feel that in the, in, it was... In this position it's the recent past so recently you have come full circle you have come to completion to really see the illusions of the devil near future power you are finding your own personal power perfect and rebuilding with your own personal power how you see yourself Six of Swords. This is a transitional card. This is going from what? In, in a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, you will see whether it would be a single individual or an individual with a small child being ushered across, almost like with an angel in some decks. Um, what, who was it? The River Styx, I believe, in mythology where you pay the uh, boat, oh, what is his, oh, I can't remember, 
coins to go across. And that's why they would put coins on the eyes of the deceased. Anyways, that always reminds me of that myth. But here in your deck, this is really taking a look at science. Are you seeing the illusion? Just believe the science, follow the science. This is what we've been listening to for the last couple of years. And you're questioning it. You're really questioning and taking a look at and reading and researching and doing your own your own investigating yeah how other people see you is the prince of swords which is the knight of swords and the knight of swords takes action so they're seeing you take action to ask questions maybe this is what you're doing at night maybe you're seeing the cruelty of the corrupt governments of the corrupt let's say media organizations of the corrupt um, industries, right? And you're doing your own research and finding your own power in the process. Your hope and or fear. This is definitely a hope. This is not a fear. This is a hope, the lovers. And maybe you're doing it for your family. Do you see that there's a family here? And there you are looking over. Look at that. There you are. And the potential out, oh my goodness, Leah, look at that. As I said, the last card in the major arcana is in your deck, it's called the universe, but it's the world card. And you have come in, comp in a complete, you completed a cycle because the next card out is the fool. And there it is as the potential outcome. There it is. You have completed one karmic cycle and you are ready to take a leap of faith on your own power, with your own power, into the future. Oh, I'm loving it, Leo, that which you might not see. Yep. The Knight of Wands, but in your deck, the Prince of Wands. But you are taking passionate action with also integrity because the Knight of Swords, yes, some readers can, can say he's reckless, he's, he's fast acting. Yes, of course he is, but he has integrity, he has knowledge, he has information, facts and figures that give him the integrity to move forward with passion. You got two knights that are the fast acting ones, taking action. Good. I want to see what this devil's about. What's this devil about, Leo? What's this fear, doubt? One more. What is this for my leap of Leos? Because they're leaping into action right there. The devil, first card out. Leo, is the devil tempting you back into fear? After this completion, again, the devil doesn't like to see us um, own our own personal power. The devil really likes to see us fall into his illusions. I'll tell you that. Is the devil trying to pull you back into something that you have made a decision about? A realization. Let's see. The star. The star. I'm going to put this back because it's three. But let's take a look. The star. This is healing. You could be healing cruel thoughts. The focus and foundation could be healing. But this is seeing your own star. I believe that you are really ignoring this five of wands, this competition, this, this combative, dramatic type of... Everyone has an opinion, right? Everyone has a wand and they're all battling it out. Because you've woken up to this. You've woken up to this drama that really means nothing. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Okay, two of pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. So let's shuffle that back in. That was a little spirit side story. Just giving us a background of the clarification we're going to get with this devil. Let's do one more. So, clarify. 
this double card. First card out for my Leap of Leos. Right there, success. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to do this. Listen, Leo, you are having success. You have successfully, you have successfully completed a cycle. You could be, for some of you, going through your Saturn return. Again, I don't know. And there, there's that Nine of Pentacles, which is independence. Independence, success, and you've done it on your own with this Nine of Pentacles. And you have found your power. And it could be, again, with these Pentacles, it could be with your own personal financial power. But this success has to do with the completion of this cycle and the the fool is taking a leap of faith. The risk that you might be taking, that you might be worried about. Because I want to go down to this Nine of Swords. After seeing the Nine of Pentacles, I want to see what it is that you're worried about. You're going, because this sword goes this way and that way. You're back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. This is your energy. The Six of Wands is your energy, Leo. And so you have really defeated the devil. You've just defeated the worries, but here it is in the focus and foundation. So, the Queen of Cups, which will lead me back up to this Ace of Cups. You're having success with love. And we've got two queens. Interestingly enough, these two queens, this is the Queen of Love and this is the Queen of Thoughts, of Contemplation. This queen is the chess player of the miners. She strategizes. She observes. She listens. She's a good listener because she gets information as she listens. She strategizes. This is, I'm feeling a lot. I'm going to say Libra energy. But I got... Gemini is your hope and your fear. So when I see the Queen of Swords clarifying the cruelty, the Nine of Swords, this worry, I think this Queen of Cups, this is an energy now, and we'll find out with the Ace of Cups, this energy, this Queen of Cups, this, because the Queen of Cups is your intuition. The Queen of Cups is also unconditional love. This Queen of Cups is patient with the process that you're going through of the mind. The Queen of Swords is very much a good business lady. She makes deals. She reads the fine print. She negotiates. And without being attached to her emotions or to an outcome. She accepts loss. Being detached, she doesn't get upset, she accepts it and makes a different plan. With that loss, or what would be considered a loss, nope, that wasn't meant for me, and I'm going to make a different plan. I'm going to take a different, this, this, she has got plan A, B, and C all lined up. If this doesn't work out, I'm going to this company or to that investor or whatever. Whatever the Queen of Swords means to you. So. She's right underneath this Nine of Pentacles because she is taking care of your financial independence and security with the deals that she might be going back and forth on what I could do. Um, if this happens, I'll do this. If that happens, I'll do that. Now, in your deck, it's cruelty. It's worry. And this is where this Queen of Cups really comes in to be patient with the Queen of Swords. To to really say, hey, give, give Leo a break here. And this is all in your own mind. This is your focus and foundation. So let's go up to this Ace of Cups. This Four of Cups, really contemplating this Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So when I see the Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, Clarifying self-love, clarifying the Ace of Cups. 
I really see that sometimes the Four of Cups, because in a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, there is a cup coming from nowhere, coming from the divine, coming from source, being handed to a person that's not interested, that's focusing on three cups, three empty cups for that matter. So there might have been a time, Leo, that you didn't believe in love. And I believe that cycle, that illusion is done. You could have found your Queen of Cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Mostly Pisces, Cancer. Not so much the King of Cups for me is Scorpio, but just saying. And you might not have believed in love. And your higher self is saying, that's done. Believe in love. Look at that shadow self. And that could have been fear of love, fear of a new relationship, fear of getting into something. The wheel is turning in your favor. You might have been down at the bottom wheel and now there's only one way to go and that is up. Let's see what the universe. Forgiveness. This page of cups is forgiveness. For some of you, it's brand new love that has maybe changed your view, your outlook on love. You're, yeah, awakening. With forgiveness comes an awakening. When you have forgiven yourself for maybe believing in the illusions, when you have forgiven yourself and ended a cycle to then find your power in the near future. Let's take a look. Look at that. Yeah, the power of love is what I'm hearing. Leo has found the power of love. Well, aren't we going to go up to the lovers now? Because here it is. Your power is in love. Look at what's flanking this four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is rebuilding. Those are four pillars that you are building. Love. Love, love. And after that, love. You no longer believe in this devil, in this illusion. So let's see what the lover says. Queen of Pentacles. This is stability, security, in love, with love. And taking a look, this is Piscean, the, the hangman is taking a look at things from a different perspective. And that maybe this Queen of Pentacles, because we got the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles now. This is a lot of femininity. This is a lot of divine feminine love, really, really wakening you up, Leo, to what it means to build a family. Do you see how in your lover's card, it's not just two lovers, there's a family there, and you could be building a family, taking a look at things from a different perspective. And this is also pause. The hangman pauses and takes a look at what is real, what is tangible, what is really going on. This is also Capricorn, and we've got Capricorn with the devil here. So, I have to take note of that. Because Capricorn knows how to build. Capricorn's the goat. And the goat builds. And the goat climbs that mountain. The, the goat doesn't wait. Either you follow the goat or you get left behind. So when it comes to this love, when it comes to this divinely guided love that you really see this Ten of Cups, this power within this love, you could have a partner, that's a Capricorn, you could have a partner that believes not only in love, but believes in the home, in the family, that has traditional values. I don't know. Could be a Piscean with this hangman. I don't know. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords. <laughs> okay, so when it is um, clarified by the same, it's basically saying what you said about the Six of Swords, that Leo is looking into the illusions, looking into what the truth is, in the science, it could be for some of you, you're looking at the science of astrology because I find that astrology is the original science. You go back into ancients, they're talking about astrology, right? This is the science behind magic for me. Yeah, and you're doing it, you're, you're doing it behind closed doors. You might be doing it from home. You might be looking at what has been 
sort of, I don't know, talked about which, what's been going on since 2020, about lockdowns, about what it is that they're mandating us to inject, whatever. But you're taking a look, you're doing your own research, you're doing your own investigative reporting. That's what you're doing. And you might be doing it behind closed doors, but you're taking action as other people see you. Wow, they see you as taking action on this love. Because we now have the lovers out of both decks and the two of cups. This is, and there's the match, the king. So this is a stable and secure. This is, they see you, Leo, as the king of pentacles. Your hope and our fear is that this love, of course it's a hope. It's not fear. You might have been in the devil fear, but not anymore. Not anymore. Because they see you, stability and security. Generous as the king of pentacles is. This is knowing your worth with the Taurus energy. This is putting boots to the ground with the Capricorn energy. Well, let's find out what this fool is talking about. Oh my goodness, Leo. Look at this. Ten of pentacles. Ten of hearts. And a marriage. And a marriage with the Hierophant. You have found your divinely guided partner, Leo. For a lot of you Leos, I know this is general read. If you haven't, it's coming. As according to my cards, it's coming. Because we have the lovers twice. We have a very solid, long-term, this is, this is a long-term relationship, marriage, when you've got both the king and the queen of pentacles. We got the ten of pentacles. We got the ten of cups. And it all starts with this position right here with the higher self saying, love yourself first. Look at your shadow self. The wheel is turning, Leo, in your favor. This four of cups was of the past of, I don't believe in love. I don't need love. Of course you do. You love love, Leo. You love being loved and you love loving. Your higher self is what crossed the devil. Your higher self really showed you the illusion of the devil. All illusions, which was putting your mind into this cruelty, this nine of swords, but we have two queens here that are really balancing out. Head and heart, that's what I'm hearing. Head and heart was balanced out. You went through this ending of a cycle with forgiveness and the waking up of what the devil has been doing, not just on a collective, but to you personally, with your thoughts. So you did a little research into the science. You did a little research. And this is a transition card, moving away from the fear, from the cruelty of the mind, into calmer waters, which is exactly what you've done behind closed doors. Yes. Other people seeing you is really solidifying a divinely guided relationship and grounding it with the King of Pentacles. And your hope is that you found your queen, and I think you have. You've taken a look at things from a different perspective. We have the Two of Cups right here, and then the Hierophant. You are taking a risk. You are taking a leap of faith that this is your person, this is your divinely guided partner, and this is what you're looking. You're walking towards that Ten of Pentacles with what's backing you up. Again, this Taurus energy of the Hierophant. Bomb of the deck. You're taking this leap of faith, and you're doing it with this Knight of Wands. Oh, Leo, the moon. That's very Piscean. So is, and Cancer, and so is the High Priestess. So the moon, look at that moon. It's exactly, that's beautiful. This is very secret, what you're doing. And it could be that you really are seeing through the illusions and really feeling deep into this relationship and you know it's right for you. That's beautiful. Wow. I am going to take a look at, I want to see 1010. I'll, I'll go to the time for that. Let's do some angel numbers here and see. 1010. 
You are on the cusp of something miraculous, Leo. Trust that God and angels are one and are with you now. I see four all by himself up there in the higher, the higher self position. Let your truth, oh yes, be your teacher. Trust in all that you feel and let your joy lead. I think that's exactly what you're doing. I look at this. I see very interesting. Sometimes the angel numbers I don't see until after. I see 69 here and I see 69 here. And this is the illusion. I kept going to how you see yourself and you're looking into the science. You're looking into what the devil has tried to pull the wool over our collective head, right? So let's see 69 because I see it twice. Very interesting. 69. Sensitivity is a gift. Know that your emotions are helping you tap into the real and important aspects of your being. And that's what the Queen of Cups, she's a sensitive queen. And your Queen of Swords could be sort of trying to detach from those emotions, but in the future, when you have Ten of Cups and the Lovers, you know Sensitivity is a gift, Leo. You love love, and you love being loved, and you love loving. And to acknowledge that, and to accept that, that could be the shadow self for you. That could be something, no, I don't need love. No, I don't want love. No, you do. I love that. <laughs> and that's twice. That could be the illusion that you have really come to completion with the universe and that you love love, you're in love, you want to get married, you want to have a family, and that's very traditional. It's very pentacle. It's very traditional. But you don't care. That's what you want. Good. Absolutely. So, I see. Let's do 296. Now, any numbers, 296, that you see on my table, Leo, that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have a book, go to the description box below, click on the link, and pick yourself up a book for all future reads. 296. Wow. Just as I said, Leo, love is yours. Recognize your divine worth, which is very Taurus energy, what's in your second house. Start by seeing yourself with loving eyes. Wow, that's, that's, right. And that's what I see for you, Leo. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.